Okay, we're recording, I think. I think we're recording. Here we are at uh, Castle Eden for the Dogs Trust Challenge. Here we go. I'm going to do 18 holes if I can, get through it. Um, I've somehow managed to get here. Don't ask me how I got here, but uh, legally I can't. <laughs> I can still drive, even though there's trouble and all sorts behind my eyes. There's no reason the doctor says I kind of drive if I'm alright, so there we go. Um, so, yeah, let's see if it picks up Castle Eden on my GPS watch. Hopefully, it will, because my rangefinder is low on battery, and I've ordered some more little batteries for it. But, um, yeah, so I'm using, because my other, my other wired mic that was brilliant is actually buggered. It went for. I went to bill on them yesterday and after 40 minutes it stopped working it just cut out so unfortunately unfortunately first hole yeah it's coming up i think so unfortunately it was um a case of it's buggered i have to send it back to amazon now and we're back to the wireless mic i've also got my other ones just in case this one runs out of batteries hopefully it won't hopefully it won't but uh yeah looking forward to this first hole here we go castle eden um, this is actually the first time I'm going to try and get through the full 18, 432 yards. I have got the scorecards, haven't I? Yeah, I have, that's alright, I've got the scorecard, that's fine. Okay, so it's going to be the first hole, 432 yards. This is quite a long course, okay, uh, golf friends, it's quite a long course. It's not an easy course, it's actually quite a long course. So we'll see how we get on. Hopefully we're on screen there. Yeah, I'm still, in fact, while I'm here, I wasn't actually, I'm, I'm not actually that happy with the, um, the adjustment on my driver still. Have I got my little tool here that I can adjust it with? Hmm. Hold on a minute, girlfriends. I might, I might have the little adjustment tool. I hope I have. I hope I... I have got it because I'm still I'm still hitting it yes I do thank God for that because I'm still hitting this drive off to before I start the round otherwise it's illegal I'm still um, fading it a little bit too much so I want to set it on a draw draw bias and then I'll stop it's just a slight draw bias to help me out so I'm still fading it I don't know why but this seems to be more of a shot shaped driver where I can fade it and do other things with it but there we go right there are leaves about but we're not off mats that's the one good thing about this course we're not off mats right let's get myself organised now got my glove on yes the gloves now on um tees i've got tees in this pocket i'll put it in my left to make it easier now i've got some i'll keep the other ones in there for now uh what's this what's this oh it's my mask i'll put my mask in there make sure that's safe uh and yellow ball here we go then we are away on Castle Eden, first hole, 432 yards. Let's see what I produce to start off with. It's bright today, the sun's out. It's a bit chilly, as you can see. I've got my top on and everything. But uh, hopefully it should stay out like this and it'll be okay. Stretch off. I did stretch off at the car park, but I still feel a little bit stiff. Right, here we go then. Yeah, I'm happy with that, straight down the middle. Happy with that, we're away. Good start, John. Very, very good start. Um, and I think I've set it just about right there now for the 
for my shot shaping which is good which is good it was a nice straight shot that i think it was a nice straight shot maybe faded a little bit but we're off we're off can't believe it. we're off we're off i'm really looking forward to this i'm really looking up for, the, up for this new course today and i'm up for it i am up for it plenty of time to get the round in it's only half 12 three and a half hours i should get the round in normally when i do a round i can get through three to three and a half hours so yes i'm really looking forward to this golf friends really looking forward to this uh, there's nobody ahead of me i can set my own pace if my eyes start throbbing and stuff i can have a little bit of a break and i should be all right but yeah i'm up for this up for this today so unfortunately i've got a bit of, bl of a blister on my foot so i've put my, my spikeless shoes on which isn't going to be the best in these conditions i know it's not going to be the best in these conditions but um i haven't really got an option with a blister on my foot these are the most comfortable shoes i can wear uh, i might slip about a little bit and stuff but at the end of the day um, I don't want to wreck my blister either, either further. These are like wearing a trainer. I think those Stubart shoes uh, and being new shoes gave us the blister. So I'm just going to have to be a little bit careful. Um, in the future about wearing them shoes and maybe put some of the anti-blister stuff on, on my feet, the, uh, the bandages. Right, I'm not seeing my ball anywhere yet, but it was a pretty good drive. I was pretty convinced that that was a good drive. Uh, and the ball should be somewhere down here. Is that it there? Is that the ball? I think that's the ball down there. I think that's a bloody good drive to start off with, John. If that is the ball. And I think it is, golf friends. My vision's not great, but I think that is the ball. That's a good, solid first drive from me. A very good first solid drive, and that's a good start. No winter mats. I'll, 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 you know what? It's such a relief after yesterday. I mean, I didn't show the video, I deleted it all. But after yesterday, playing off a mat, it's not great. Let me tell you, it's not great at all. What do we got? What do we got? The GPS says 35. Okay. Well, I think I might just tuck down on a 9-iron because I'm not too sure about these clubs yet, about these irons. I'm not sure exactly how far I'm hitting them and stuff, but we'll give it a go. Steady away on the 9-iron. That's a brilliant drive. That's a brilliant drive. I love it. Absolutely love that one. Right, here we go. Steady away on the 9-iron. First hole at Castle Eden. It's going a little bit right. Oh, wow, it's short. It's it's very short. Wow. Okay. Wow. I've got a shock there, golf friends. I think the yardage is wrong on the GPS. Um. Wow. Very very short. I mean, I hit the 9-9 well, I hit it as well as I, as I wanted it to, but, um, wow, short and right. Okay, okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, I've got a shock there, I've got a real shock. But, um, it's okay, I'm there in, uh, I'm there in two. I have a little pitch on for three and a put for par. It's not a disaster to start off with, not a disaster. Uh, not great either, but it's not a disaster after a great drive. But again, remember, I don't know the course. I'm playing this from scratch. Um, it looks like a very mature parkland course, to be honest, of what I've seen. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not too bad. Not too bad. There are slight leaves on the course and everything, but not half as much as what there was yesterday on Billingham. Christ almighty. Yeah, I mean, look where I'm at. I am miles short, there's no way that was 136 yards. No way. I think they've, um, that must have been the old yardage and they've knocked the green back, I don't know. It must have been the green round about this area, I don't know, but look how short I am. That's where I'm at. And there's placing rules so I can place the ball, luckily, where the dirt is. 
but yeah that's not that's not marvelous so a little 56 pitch hopefully i'll be putting for par from there In fact, I might just go for the normal chip. Yeah, just a little chip it up. I mean, it's all right, it's okay. I was expecting it to come round and it didn't. And the greens are a little bit slower than I expected from there. But it's three, it's only three. Remember, it's three. And um, I've got a two put. I've got a two put for par. I think in between holes, because I'm doing 18, I will stop the recording, and then in between we walk, and because I don't have that much space. But to be perfectly honest, a three from there, I'll take. If I get a five, I'll be happy, and I'll take it. Uh, oh, that's number two over there. Okay, never mind. But um, I'll just come round and get my bag. All right. Here we go looks it looks as if it's slightly right to left can't be certain right to me, a little bit but we'll see in fact at the slope of the ground it feels right okay yeah i feel as if it's right to left but we'll we'll see we'll see how we go And it's a five to start off with, golf friends. It's a five to start off with. So that's fine. That's okay. We'll take a five. In fact, there's no need to stop the recording because oh, there might be because the second hole's over there. I'll stop till I get the. Okay. Well, a five's not a bad start. A five isn't a bad start, to be honest. Considered it's a course I don't know and haven't played. Second hole, 371 yards. I'm going to take the drive out again. Driver. Looks a very mature parking course, to be honest. This this could be an enjoyable round if I play well. Okay. Make sure we're not at an angle. Um, there we go. Driver out. Let's see how far we can get down there. I've towed it a little bit, but it's still down there. I've towed it a little bit, drew round a little bit, but it's all right. I'm not a flush drive like the first hole, but we're down there. We're down there, golf friends. It's all right. So yeah, I think I've, I've set the driver well now. I think I've set it perfect for my game now, to shot shape. Um, just a tiny bit of fade on it now. Uh, like I said, Bill, it was still draw. It was still fading a bit on the on the neutral setting, and I didn't particularly like it. I've put it on a slight draw now, and straightened it up. So I think I'm going to be a little bit more consistent now with this driver, which is good news. Which is good news. I tell you what, I'm, I've only played one hole, and this is me drive on the second. But already, I can tell you, I'm enjoying this more. Than Billingham. Already, I can tell you, I'm going to enjoy this a hell of a lot more than Billingham. No mats, proper conditions. Uh, for 25 quid, it's uh, it looks a good course. This it looks a good course. Um, and already, I would suggest this to people already that this is going to be a good course. Right. Uh, slightly up the slope. The ball should be somewhere up here. I did tow it, I did tow it, I didn't, it didn't give it everything, but it still went a fair distance, 
So I'm, I'm impressed with the Epic so far. Took us a while to adjust, but once I've adjusted, it's all right. Here's the ball up here. Okay, we'll see what it says. I still think I've got a long, long way away. I don't think I'm close to the flag. It's uphill. See the flag. Okay, we've got one. 172 according to that up the slope I'm going to go with the six it mightn't be enough up the slope but we're going to give it a go anyway see if I can get it up there put a nice rounded swing on it and see where we get there see where we get to okay here we go Uh, I think I've hit that off to the left. I haven't seen where it's gone, girlfriends, but I think I've hit that off to the left. Uh, connection wasn't brilliant. I think I've gone off to the left. Um, we'll see where we get up there. But I've got a horrible feeling I'm off to the left there. Might have gone straight, I don't know. I didn't see with the sun, but it wasn't the best strike by me, I've got to be honest slightly on the toe again and uh, I think it's gone off to the left we'll get up there and have a look I think it's going to be short it's going to be short left somewhere I'm not sure where but my god this is a steep hill wow okay so maybe that's why the drive didn't go very far as well Whew. we'll head off to the left side I'm sure I'll find it it's pretty open, apart from the trees. Uh, yeah, it should be somewhere up here. Oh, I don't push. Come on, get up the bank. I'm buggered already getting up this bank. But, uh, okay. Phew, bugger. Tough work, this. Uh, not seeing it yet. Sun's bright. I'm not quite seeing the ball yet. It will be somewhere. I'm presuming it's short. I'm presuming it's left. Okay, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it anywhere yet. Uh, right, this isn't particularly good. Right, give us some time to have a scout about. I think it's went off to the left. You don't know exactly where it's gone. It could be anywhere. I'm going to have a look over to the right, but I don't think I hit it off to the right. I think I hit off it off to the left. Got it. Oh, here it is. Got it, I'm coming, don't worry. It's off on the right hand side here. It's off on the right hand side, I've just dropped it now, I know where it's at. I looked in the bunker, it wasn't in the bunker, but it's just it's just gone past this bunker here. Not a great shot by me to be honest. Short. Short and uh short and manky really, but it was off on the right hand side, it was the place where I thought it wouldn't have been. It was off on the right side, I thought it would have been left, but never mind, we found it, that's the main thing. I had to pick it up to confirm it was my ball because I couldn't believe it. Right, here I am. There I am, okay. Uh, oh, it's not coming with the yardage. That says I'm on the green. Never mind, I'll just have to go off heel. Uh, we'll go for 
the 56 again, I think. Bump it up. It's winter conditions. Hope we get it somewhere close. Yeah, amazing. Amazing it's on the right outside. I thought I hit it left, but there we go. Right, come round. That's it, baby. Come round. That's good. It's okay. I've got. To, I've given myself a decent chance at par. That's okay. I've given myself a decent chance at par, girlfriends. And uh, not not brilliant golf so far, but consistent enough. Consistent. Enough. I haven't made a massive mistake yet. I know it's only two holes, and I know I haven't made any big errors, and there's time for it. But signs are okay that I'm playing okay, I'm playing consistent enough. Um, hopefully you're hearing this in this wireless mic. There we go. That's what I've got left for par. I've given myself a decent chance. I tell you what, this is, this is looking like a very good course. I'm enjoying this so far. Even though I've only played for for par. Get in there. Well done. Yes. Yes, John. In fact, the next tee is just here, so again, I'll just keep recording. That's brilliant. Uh, a five and a four. That's good. That is good golf. That's good golf on a course you don't know to start off with. Right. Third hole, 389 yards, it suggests. Uh, again, I'm going to have to go with the driver. And again, there's, there's leaves down the bottom there, but uh, so far, so far, so good. We've done all right so far. Here we go, driver back out. Uh, and I must admit, those first two holes have been good. They've been good, I've enjoyed them, I've enjoyed playing them. Let's hope it continues that way. Again, a little bit downhill, so good chance of I get a good drive away of getting a chance here of uh, a good second into the green. Again, there's no um, there's no white tees here because obviously it's winter, and uh, the summer tees are, are out. The, the competitions are uh, being taken away, so really the yellow is the only option you've got. Um, but that's fine. It's long enough. Let me tell you, six, six over six thousand yards. Pass, I think it's a par 70, is it? A par 71? That's long enough, let me tell you, for me. And of course, I don't know. That's long enough. Here we go, third hole. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, that's fine. I think that's left fairway. I think that's good, John. I think I've set this driver perfect now. I think it's set perfect. And I think it's going to be my best friend now. Again, I didn't feel as if I totally walloped that out the middle, but it got bomb height on it. And it should be a decent distance down there, girlfriends. It should be a good, decent distance down there. So I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this so far. I really am enjoying this. Let's hope it continues. A little bit wet underfoot, but at the same time, I'm up for this. I'm, I'm, I'm really up for this, for this dog, do, uh, Dog's Trust Challenge. Uh, and I want to shoot low fears. I really want to shoot low fears this time because that 90 at Wynyard, uh, I missed some very short putts and stuff like that. Uh, and I was a little bit frustrated and angry with myself. So I really want to do well fears here. I really want to do well fears and shoot low. If I can come out of here, I would love to shoot an 85, but I'm not going to jinx it. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just enjoying playing, and I'm just enjoying being out in the sun, in the decent weather. I mean, okay, it's about 8, 9 degrees or something, it's not absolutely boiling. But um, the sun's out, and I'm enjoying it. The sun's out, and I'm enjoying it. Right, no sign of the ball yet, I can't see it. But uh, I, I, I did hit it well. It's one thing I do know. I thought it was going to go slightly left on the fairway, but um, 
yeah, I, I'm nowhere. <laughs> I'm going to be nowhere near it yet. I'm still 240, 40 yards away. Right, uh, there should be some signs of the ball coming up soon. Is that it there, or is that just a leaf? I'm not certain. I think that is the ball. Yeah, that is the ball. Yeah, good, 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 good. Everything's good. Everything's happy. Brilliant. Bang, straight down the middle of the fairway. Absolutely spot on. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. Okay. Let's have a look. I'll just I'll just uh, pick it up off. It's a little bit mucky. I'll just clean it so I can see it properly. Are these yellows in the winter? These yellow balls in the winter are actually the be better balls to see than the green, so I think I'll keep using the, the yellows. Um, what, what did it say? 170, 173? I reckon it's 180. Wow, okay. Okay, so I haven't hit... 180? 178? Wow, I haven't hit it as long as I thought. Um, down the slope, 164 to the front. We're talking a six, I think. I mean, it is down the slope, John. I mean, I don't think this GPS has picked it up as accurate as you think you know this course. 164 to the front. And I think the pin is at the front. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the seven. I'm gonna go for the seven. The pins is the pin. Looks as if it's at the front. Oh, my straps come off. What's happened there? Um. Hold on a minute, the little strap thing's come off. You tighten it up again. Yeah, so I'm going to go for the seven. And effectively hope the slope will take it down and help me out here. Because as I can see, the flag looks as if it's right at the front of the green. Right, here we go. Slightly right of the green. And there is a bunker there. There is a bunker there. Where's the big one? Take this anyway. It might be my divot. I don't know. It looks too big for my divot. But, um, it, um, there is a bunker there off on the right. I don't know whether or not I've carried it. Oh, it is. It is my divot. I don't know if I've carried it off to the right there. Um, but we'll see when we get down there. That's all we can do. That's all we can do is see when I get down there what the position is. Um, I know it's not on the green. I know it's to the right. To the right. I mean, that went straight as a die, that iron. Uh, and yesterday, I noticed when I watched my video of filling them, I'm coming a little bit steeper on my swing. I'm going more like what Colin McGonry does, the old traditional swing where you're going up instead of going round. So last night I tried to work a little bit on my body turn a little bit a bit better. And it's worked there because that went dead straight. It didn't really fade. Um, with Monty's swing, he goes up and inside, cuts through the ball and makes it fade, which I, I don't want to do. I want to keep hitting it as straight as I possibly can. But I'm getting the hang of these irons now. Uh, I still don't know the exact distances I'm hitting them, so I'm roughly guessing. I'm roughly guessing my seven, seven iron's going about 165. But uh, we'll see. Like I say, the flag's right at the front. I just hope, I hope it's not in that bunker. I'm just, I'm not seeing the ball. If it is in the bunker, fair play, I can get out of it. But ideally, I don't want to be in there. Oh, here it is, just off, off of the right-hand side. Which is fair enough. Is that number four over there? Yeah, that's number four, so I'm going over there next. Right, okay, that's fine. A little bit further right than I would have liked. But we've um, we've got a shot on. We've got a shot on. There we go, just there. Lots of leaves at this part of the course, but uh, not really affecting us. Okay. Um, Going to go for a 58 bump and run. I've got plenty of space to do it. Um, 
I don't have to stop it dead on the penny. I've got a bit of green to work with. Yeah, this would be 58. Come round. Again, it's, it's not helped us. Again, the green's not helped us. It's gone dead straight. Again, I'm putting for par again, but I would have liked to be a little bit closer than that. I'll be honest. I would have liked to be a bit closer. Um, I thought it was going to curl around from right to left and it did nothing for us. It didn't help us in the slightest. So, yeah. Um, is this still on? I can't. Yeah, it's still on. Okay. So I've got that left, that left for par. Yeah, I, I really wanted to be a little bit closer than this. I would have liked to have been a little bit closer, but it's not a total disaster. I should, at the very two put from here, but I should have been a little bit closer, I reckon. Oh, steady, steady. Oh, lad, I've hit that far too hard. That was racy. Oh, dearie me. Okay, right. Come on, John. Concentrate now. Come on, you need this putt. Yes, yes! You can see what that meant to his score, friends. I didn't really want to miss that. I didn't want that to spiral out of control. That was good. That was good. A good steady putt. Right, number four is over here. So again, they're very close to each other, the tee, so I don't really need to have breaks. But um, yeah, um, you saw what that meant to me, golf friends. You saw what that meant to me there. I really, really, really did not want that to spiral out of control. If I got a six there, that could have been the start of a bad round. But uh, I've come through that okay. I've come through that little wobble okay. That's fine. No more wobbles, hopefully. Uh, oh, this, this looks a nice hole. This looks a very nice hole. Nice open hole. Well, not open. It's slightly enclosed, but by God, it looks a lovely mature hole, this. Look at that. Looks a very nice hole. Okay, driver out. In fact, I should really put the scores down quickly. Castle Eden. So I got a five, a five, a four, and a five. This one's 337. Now I think I'll still go with the driver. It's winter conditions and it's not going as far as I think it's going to go. Okay, here we go. Driver out. Um, yes. Yes, okay. Game on. The game is afoot, as Sherlock would say. Benedict Cumberbatch. He was a good Sherlock, him. I don't think much of his political views, like. But Benedict Cumberbatch, he was a good, um, he was a good Sherlock. Very good Sherlock. For the modern era. And I can imagine Sherlock in the modern era being like that. Right, I'm, I'm still recording, aren't I? Yeah. Here we go, here we go. Ideally, I just want it straight down the middle. Slightly right would be all right to open the green up, I think. I think the green goes off to the right a little bit. So here we go. Oh. No, that's not a good drive, John. I've hit down on it, and it's it, it's just ran, it's scuttled. Damn it. That's not what I wanted there, golf friends. That's a horrible, horrible drive from me. It's gone straight enough, but it's gone about 100 yards, and that's it. Horrible scooter. 
And the horrible thing with that is that face, it looks so big that you can't hit a dove shot. Well, unfortunately, I have. Damn it. Luckily, it's only 337 yards, uh, and I might get there, and it might only be 200 yards or something left to the hole, which is the only uh, saving grace with this, and I might get away with a five or something if I'm lucky, but no, that, that, that was an awful shot. That was a bad drive, that. After doing consistently okay, I'll produce that. No, that's not on. It's not on. Anyway, we're still out. We're still playing. It's all right. It's only one bad shot. Uh, and there's the ball there. I can see it perfectly fine now. Um, it's only one bad shot. It's not a disaster. It's not the end of the world. Um, and I will have a shot at the green. It's going to be about, it might be 200 yards, but I will have a shot at the green. I have to get the rangefinder out to see where the flags are because it's not clear to me as to yet where it's at. Uh, where is the rangefinder? How are rangefinder? Where are you at? Here it is. With all this other rubbish. Oh bloody hell, it's over there. Okay. So the line, follow it round, follow it round. I think that's it. I think it's directly over where the trees are because I'm not seeing anything up there. Bunker. I think I'm having to go straight over the trees here. That's be lined straight over the trees. And um, to be honest, if I go for the hybrid, it's going to be a dangerous play. But I'll take the five and I'll go for it. It's going to be a very, very dangerous play. I have to try and hit it on the up and get it straight over them trees. Maybe I'll go slightly left. I mean, there's, uh, there's no way I think I can get the height over that. I want to give it a go anyway. I think I've got it over that bunker there, but no, the shot I've played there was a bad shot. Um, well, it wasn't a bad shot to be honest. It wasn't terrible. I just, I just thicked it. I just sticked it a little bit, um, and I've got it over that bunker there. Put it over that bunker there on the left, but I'm gonna have a difficult third now. I've, I've, I've made a mess of this hole. I have made a mess of this hole. Um, but again, I can get a three onto the green and two put at five. And from this position would be good. Again, I don't want this spiral out of control. Golf friends, I really don't want the spiral out of control. I've got to stay focused. I've got to stay with it. Um, I don't want a six here. That's the last thing I want is a six here. I don't want this spiral out of control at an early stage. Keep it consistent if I get a five. This is really a hole that I should have parred, really. This is my hole that I should have really gone for par, but it's not going to be. It's not going to be. I tried to get too much height on that, and I've ended up just thickening it. That's the problem. I tried to go over the trees. Here I am just here. It's not a big issue. If I can just pitch it on, it's still got a good 80 yards, I reckon. Wow, 101. Slightly to the front, I think. Yeah, okay. 52 is coming out. 52 is coming out to play. Come on, that's it. Yeah, okay. 104. right at it slightly to the right now it's drew a bit but I think it's on I think it's on and we'll put I think that's the key we're on and we'll put look at these divots I'm taking now I'm playing them like it's summer I think that's the problem I think I'm trying to play this course like it's summer conditions and it's not taking huge divots 
it helps because it stops the ball dead but um i think i think really i should be trying to hit just skim the surface of the turf rather than hitting huge divots it's working for us at the minute but eventually i might just duff one but no i'm happy with that i think we're on the green and i might get away with the five that i suggested if i am on the green <coughs> But we'll see where we get up there. It's slightly drew. Oh, I think I can see it. It's right at the front. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's a good shot, John. Well done. It's not going to spiral out of control from there, hopefully. Hopefully not. Yeah, just to the front of the green there. Yeah. Well, that's three I've had. Two putts. I mean, it's going to be a difficult, it's going to be a longish putt. It's not as further up as I thought. It's just to the front of the green. And the pin's more to the to the middle than I thought than than the front, but uh, it shouldn't be a disaster from here. It should not be a disaster from here. If it is, I deserve what I get. Here I am, just here, and I'll be putting. I'm putting for par, to be fair. Bit of left to right, I think up the slope yeah there's my ball thing there I better repair that I haven't got the proper divot I have got the proper divot tool but I can't be bothered unclipping it at the minute if you can golf friends always replace your pitch marks if you see them well not replace them try and uh, repair them I should say not replace them because uh, the Greek keepers, you know what funny buggers they are, they, they, they don't like it. And it's always good manners too. And someone's had the trolley on here and just got all across here. Or well, might have been the tractor. Might have been the tractor, I might have been uh, exaggerated, it might be a tractor. But it, it doesn't look good, this, these tyre marks. Well, come back in at the end, but just not enough for us. All right. Oh, Jesus. It's hit the tyre marks. It's hit one of the tyre marks and it's moved. <sighs> Christ almighty. Damn it. Well, I'm not going to cheat, girlfriends. It's a six. It's a six. Damn it. I don't feel I deserved a six there, but I didn't play. I didn't have a good drive, and I didn't hit a good hybrid. But I, th I thought, I thought I got away with it there. And I, mean, I don't know if you could see the tire marks, but uh, there are tire marks on there, and it's it hit one of the things and veered off to the right, but. It's my own fault, I just missed it, and I put it again in exactly the same thing, move off to the right. But uh, it's my own fault, it's my own fault. Don't blame the tyre marks. Uh, it's okay, it's alright, it's not a disaster, it's not a disaster. I'll tell you what, if I shoot a sub, just if I shoot under 90 here today, or of course I don't know winter conditions, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's not a big deal. Right. That's a six. How long is this one? Three, five, six. How long has this been recording? 31 minutes. Okay, we can keep going. Right, um, 371 yards. Driver out again. We'll see from here. I mean, so, I, mean, I haven't played ridiculously bad golf. It's just that hole I duffed up a little bit and maybe I deserve a six. Maybe I deserve a six, I don't know. I don't know because it was too bad, two bad main shots. The third was all right, but on a, on a hole like that, that's a hole I should be attacking for par, really. Here we go.
Oh, it's a low scooter again. Damn it. It's another low scooter. I don't know what I've done wrong there. Maybe I've just closed the face a little bit. Um, all right, okay, that's two bad drives. It's not ideally what I'm wanting at this stage. But uh, again, I'm not used to the driver completely, but I hit a bomb on the first hole with it. So I just, I just don't know, I just don't know. Um, never mind, never mind. That's the thing, when you're not driving the ball well, it becomes a tough, oh, it becomes a tough game. I've gone around where the ropes are. I've come around here. It's a tough game, golf friends, when you're not driving the ball well. It's a very tough game, golf. If you're not consistently hitting the drives where you want them to go, you're gonna struggle, you will struggle. Um, like I say, this course is long enough without me having to struggle with the drives. We're talking over 6,000 yards, 6, 000, I think it's 6,100 yards, or something like that, past 70 or something like that. So I don't necessarily need to have this where I'm not driving the ball consistently well. Right, it's not going to be far up. I might have only hit that about 170 yards or something, but it will be up here somewhere. Just got to keep my eye out, got to keep my eye out. And I might be in this first cut. Right, I'm not seeing it. Is that it up there? Is that the ball up there? I think, I think that's the ball up there. I'm not certain, but I think that's the ball up there. Okay, so a little bit further than I thought. So even the bad shots with the uh, the Epic aren't as bad as you think they're going to be. It's still a long way to go, 190 from here. A little bit further up, I think it'll be about 170, 175-ish. But uh, we'll have a look. One sixty-eight. One sixty-eight. Okay. Went slightly against me. I think we we'll have to go for the six. Okay. I see where the flag's at. So I've got to go right side and try and fade it round with these clubs. I'm not confident on drawing them yet. In fact, I don't know how to draw the clubs yet. Okay. Fair enough. One sixty-eight. Six iron. Here we go. It's cleared the trees. It's just gone right. Yeah, it opens up. Once you get over that tree, I've opened it up. It's all right. I mean, I've hit that pretty straight again, so I think I'm going to have to stop stop adjusting for this fade because again, I haven't I haven't faded it. But um, there is room once you clear that tree, which I've done. There is a bit room over there. There's a big tree over there, a big oak tree on the right. Uh, and I think if I haven't hit that, I should be okay. I should be all right, because it's opened up a little bit. Should be okay, should be findable. Um, we'll see what we get there. I really don't think it's gonna be a lost ball. In fact, it might be better than I think. It might be better than I think. The green sort of opens up a little bit, right. I'll get down there and have a look. I've definitely cleared all this. I'm sure I've cleared all this. I've had enough height on it. Oh. And uh, we'll go up, we'll go up the bank. I'm sure I've cleared all this. There's someone's ball there. There's a white ball there. Right. It should be somewhere around about here. I think that's the ball there. I can't be certain, but I think it is it. I'll go down and check. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, it's not as bad as I thought, actually. I thought it was a disaster shot, but I've just got a little pitch on. It is wet and damp. Um, it's a placing rule, so I'll place it. I am allowed to place it. <laughs> 
I'm not so sure if it applies to the, yeah, I mean, it's right in this thick, yeah, it's in the splodge. I think I'm entitled to a, a place in there. Uh, I'll just put it no further the hole. I'll just put it there. Yeah, it's a, um, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Not as bad as I thought it would be. But still, it's a difficult shot. I'm going to have to use the 60 and I'm just hoping because it's wet, I don't duff this. I'm going to have to try and flop it up. Unfortunately, it's one of these one of these shots where it's going to be very difficult. In wet conditions. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. I should have known that. Yeah, I should have known better, golf friends. I'll just take me fourth here and I'll move the trolley up. I mean, I should have known better than that. I should have known exactly what was going to happen there. Okay, I'll have to just do a little pitch. Ah, I've made a mess of that. That's four I've had. Ah, I should have known, I should have known, I should have said to myself, John, it's soaking wet. What are you doing trying to play a flop shot? But again, I'm just an amateur golf friends. I'm just an amateur. Uh, never mind, that's four I've had. I really do want this to go in for, for a five. Because again, this round's going to spiral out of control quickly if I don't sort this out. Right, ball's full of muck. I'll just put my foot where the ball is to mark it. Because I don't have a marker at hand. Here we go, okay. Ah. Well, it's another six. Not a disaster, but it's another six. And unfortunately, it's not good enough. There's a bolt there playing. Oh, bloody hell, I've been taught what he's been on the green. But uh, never mind, it's another six. He's going to think I'm right not to speak to myself. But uh, no, it's a it's a six golf friends, it's a six. I'm a little bit annoyed. That's two holes that have spiralled out of control now. Um and to be honest, it hasn't been the best of golf so far by us. It hasn't been the best of golf so far by us. It's um it's not been magical. And there's not, it's not been terrible, but at the same time, there's nothing to report home that's good about that. Uh, the problem is, my mindset now is, I know <laughs> deep down I'm a sort of middle 80s to high 80s golfer, but deep down I'm looking at my handicap now at sort of like 10, and I'm thinking to myself, I should be shooting 82, when in an actual fact, that's your potential, not your, uh, what you're capable of doing. Right, number six, 153 yards. I think after this hole, we'll, um, we'll stop it for part one. Um, this one's over the gorge. This looks a decent hole. It's over the gorge, golf friends. Yeah, over the gorge. Here we go then. Uh, again, I'm not seeing where the flag's at. I couldn't tell you where the flag's at. Where is the flag? Can I see with the sun? Is that it there? 
Right, it's just to the left of that tree. I've got it, I've got it. Just to the left of the tree. And the yardage is... That reckons 149 in the middle. I can see exact yardages here with these irons. It doesn't matter to us. So, the range find is pretty useless at this stage. Right. Seven iron. Unless I know my exact distances with these irons, I'm not uh, I'm not going to benefit from knowing my exact yardages. Here we go then. Oh. Seven iron at a hundred and... 50 yards, should it say? Yeah, 150. Here we go. The line is a tree. Yeah, I can see the flag now, just to the left of that tree. Here we go. Oh, it's faded off to the left. Yeah, it's going to be a pitch onto the green again. That ain't going to be on the green, golf friends, unfortunately. It's going to be a pitch on um, from there. It faded off to the left. The old fade came back. It, it went straight for the flag, but it just faded off to the left. And that's going to be a pitch. That's going to be a pitch on. Um, so yeah, it's been a continuous recording, actually, because the tee boxes are very close together, which is quite good. Um, the bridge is shut off, so I'm going to have to go down this way, I think. But, uh, no, nothing magical, nothing magical, um, and nothing, nothing to report really, apart from the, 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 the second, which I think was a, was it a par? Was it a par? I'm not sure. But, um, no, nothing magical to report on yet. Um, Hopefully I can chip on and get a par here and that would settle me down a little bit for a third of the round but uh, as of yet nothing really to report home I mean that first hole was a bomb, bomb the drive uh, How do we drive? Oh yeah and after that I haven't really done a decent drive have I? So I'm going to have to pick me driving up and all Whew. Right, where am I? Where am I at? It's faded off to the left. It's a bit more green than I think, but I still think it's run off here on the left. Might well be near this bunker. This bunker. There's uh, weird. Oh, I'm in it. I'm in it. Oh, and I'm right up against the lip. Never mind, it might be as bad as I think. I still think I can get out of it. Yeah, I'm alright. I'm not as bad as I think. Still going to be a difficult shot, mind. Oh, it's right at the back and all. Oh, lad. Don't give us a break, whatever you do. Right. It'll have to be 60 degree to get the height on it. And hopefully I can get this out, but... Yeah. I'm not... Uh, I'm not a fan of this. I'm not a fan of this shot I'm about to play. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to interfere with me swing, that's okay. It's not going to interfere, I don't think. Right, here we go. I'll take that, I will take that. That's not bad. It's about an 8 out of 10 from the position I was at. I always had that, this back of this bunker here, the back of my mind there. It was in the back of my mind, but uh, I'll take that from there. I've got a half decent chance now for par. Remember, this is a course I don't know. I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. Um, I'll, ta I'll take that, I'll take that. With a new driver, a new set of uh, irons, I'll take that. 
Okay, I've got that for paw. It's going to be difficult to write. Right, there's one a little left to write. It's going to come in quite a bit, actually. But I'm not certain. But it's going to go right to left. Uh, the last second it'll go down that way, I think. Right, okay. Here we go. Steady, steady, steady. We'll take a four. I'll take a four. We're going to have to. We're going to have to take a four. But from there, that's okay. Remember, this isn't Winyard. I don't know the course. I do not know this course. Uh, where's the next hole? Um, oh, there we go. Oh, I see it. Right, we've got to go around. Right, when I get in the tea box, or tea box on the seventh, I'll stop the recording, girlfriends, and we'll do part two. Once I get to the ninth hole, I think I'll have, I'll have to pause it and have a little bit of a break, and then continue on. Um, but so far, uh, I've just played average dual golf. I don't think I've played terrible. But at the same time, I've not done anything marvellous. So nothing really to report. 274 yards in the seventh. I could potentially drive this. If I feel if I if I was driving well, I would say, yeah, I'm up for this. I could potentially go with the driver, but I'm not feeling it at the minute. I'm just not feeling that confident. Um I'll give it a go though. I want to give it a damn go. See if I can get as far up as I can. I'm going to tee it a little bit higher, so we'll get a little bit more height. And uh, we'll see, I've got to give it a go, 274 yards, see how close I can get it. I think the line is the tallest tree right down the centre of the fairway. That should be the line, I think. I don't know where the green's at or anything, but I'm presuming it's somewhere near there. <laughs> Let's tee it a little bit higher than I usually do. See if I can get a bit more height and bomb it up there. Right. We hit it on the up. On the up, not the down. On the up. Here we go. I, re I really haven't seen that. I really have not seen that, girlfriends. I couldn't tell you where that's gone. Just totally... I don't like how that bloke's walking down through there either. But, uh, no, I, 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 I didn't see that. Um, oh, I'm on the 7th. Right, I'll do... The <laughs> Sorry, I'll have to do the 7th now then. And then have the break. But um, I, didn't, I didn't feel... Ah, I, I, I just don't know. I didn't know what I did with that. I really don't know what I did with that. That could be absolutely anywhere. Is that ball playing his shot? Yeah, I think he is. I'll let him play it. Play through. That's good of them. Cheers, mate. Thanks.
Yeah, I don't have a clue where my ball's gone. I do not have a clue. It could be absolutely anywhere, golf friends. It really could. In fact, is this it? My God, how lucky have I been? I found it. But I tell you what, I haven't hit it very well. If that's my ball, and it is, 98 yards, I've, I've hit that nowhere. We're driving today. Has not been good. It's either that or I didn't get the height in it and it's just scur scurried up again. Right. 28 yards. I'm going to have to go for the 52, I think. And after this, we'll have a break. Make sure I have a break after the 7th. Here we go. might be short that it might be short golf friends I'm not sure but uh, it could be short that because I've thicked it again I'm taking too much of the grass <sighs> bugger I'm knackered off that hill yeah I'm taking just too much of the grass I think that's my issue I'm taking too much of the grass um, I don't know what I'm doing with my drives to be honest I couldn't tell you what I'm doing with my drives but uh, we'll see where we get there, where it's at. Hopefully it's somewhere on the green. But uh, yeah, after seven again, nothing to report. Nothing to report to suggest that I'm at my best or anything like that. Uh, but I think the way I'm feeling all the time now, I think that's the way it's just gonna be from now on. I think I'm just gonna have to accept I'm not gonna play the best golf of my life at the minute. I'm, I'm on the uh, I'm on the green, and um, I'm putting. So I'm putting for birdie. So I can't really board. I mean, it's 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 dug. You can see there, it's dug right in. <sighs> Where's my little pitch thing? Where's my little pitch repairer? It was here. There it is. Okay, just steady up. <sighs> right. So I'll repair it and then put it. In fact, I'll keep this little tool in here, I think, just to be on the safe side. So we'll have to keep picking it out. There we go, okay. Right, as long as put then for birdie. Despite that drive being not as good as I thought it was. Uh, nothing to complain about there to par. Nothing to complain about it to par. We'll take that and we'll move on, I think. We'll move on to the eighth. Uh, and then we'll have a little we'll have a little break. Once I get up to the tea box, I'll stop the recording and do part two. But, um, I mean, how long have I, have I been recording? 57 minutes, that's all right. So, yeah, we've got round so far in 57 minutes to do seven holes. So, I'm setting the pace okay. Uh, is this the tea box here? Yeah, this is number eight. Oh, it's at a strange angle, isn't it? It's at a strange angle. Let's have a look. Wow, it's a very strange angle. I think there's, I think what they're asking you to do here is hit it. Right, okay. Yeah, we'll have a little bit of a break here. That's me through seven. This is John from John Hutton Golf Channel. See you in part two. See you later. Bye for now. Bye.